Russia's President Vladimir Putin has ordered what he's called a humanitarian pause in Syria's eastern Ghouta, despite a UN Security Council resolution calling for a 30-day ceasefire. The rebel-held area has faced intense bombardment by pro-government forces for more than a week now. Now Aram reports. President Putin has called for the shelling to stop for five hours every day from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. starting Tuesday to allow civilians to leave and for humanitarian aid to come in. Time will tell if there will be a complete stop in hostilities with nations including the U.S. calling for an immediate end, but for now it's only temporary. The Russian military has also said the Syrian government has arranged what it called a humanitarian corridor to allow, in theory, a safe exit for residents. But the move is not the 30-day ceasefire resolution passed by the UN Security Council on Saturday. Russia, a key Syrian ally, did vote for it, but only after it was weakened by provisions, including the exclusion of operations against Islamic State and Al-Qaeda-linked militants. Airstrikes and artillery fire from pro-Syrian forces continued despite the passage of the resolution, and a few dozen civilians are reported to have been killed in the past couple of days. There have also been reports of a suspected chlorine attack in eastern Ghouta on Sunday, with the White House again pointing the finger at the Syrian government. Russia's foreign minister rejected such reports as a hoax. Syria has been accused of using chemical weapons on civilians in the past, allegations the Assad regime denies. Noadam, Arirang News.